About a year ago, I was in one of Will's videos and we did a diet swap. I took his food and he took mine. I have raspberries and strawberries and blueberries uh, and blackberries. Like there is enough berries, like there's the same amount of berries in this bowl that the hunter and gatherers would go forage like for their entire village, just in here. <laughs> there were a lot of comments after that video and most people thought that I had a really healthy diet and I have to tell you, I think I have a very healthy diet, but there were the few detractors that said, her entire breakfast is fruit and sugar. How much sugar is she eating? What is she doing to her liver? Her liver is on overload. I have noticed that fruit has been taking a hit. People are shying away from fruit because they think that there's too much sugar. And I'm thinking, WTF? What the fruit? That's what I wanna to talk to you about today. Let's talk about sugar and let's talk about fruit and let's see, do I eat too much sugar? Am I having too much fruit? I've got lots of things to show you today, so let's get to it. Sugar is sugar is sugar. No matter what way we look at it, sugar is sugar. But let's take a look at just granulated sugar. So this would be added sugar that you might put in your tea or you might put in your coffee, or you might sprinkle that on your oatmeal. And that doesn't look like a whole lot, okay? That is six teaspoons of sugar, and that is 100 calories, and that is 24 grams of sugar. Okay, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. Let's look at that compared to some fruits. Blackberries are 43 calories per 100 grams. This container is 170 grams. So that means that this whole container is only 73 calories. Now, do you think that you could even possibly dream of eating this entire container? When I have my oatmeal in the morning, I have maybe five blackberries, that's it. So in this container, the entire container, 73 calories, 8.3 grams of sugar versus this 24 grams of sugar. Fruit, not only does it have the sugar, it has fiber and it has vitamins and it has fluid hydration, all things that we need. So this has nine grams of fiber. That is really significant. Now, the powerhouse, and this is a powerhouse that I love, and that is strawberries. Okay, this bowl of strawberries, this is 300 grams, and that is only 100 calories. And you know what? I haven't even cleaned them. So if I took off the, the stems, probably we could even fit another couple of strawberries in there. And in this, there's six and a half grams of fiber. What is so great about fiber? Fiber promotes regularity. Fiber helps us with our blood sugar. Fiber helps us to stay full. It has both soluble and insoluble fiber. And what happens is that that helps push the sugar along in our system through the digestion so that we're not spiking. It takes longer to digest it because of the fiber. And that's a good thing. That's, that's helping to stop the insulin spikes that may lead to uh, diabetes, type two diabetes, etc. So the fiber in the fruit is just A plus. And I just, I mean, I really can't get over how many strawberries you're getting in here. Now, again, going back to my breakfast in my diet swap with Will, I'm not having this. I'm only having, you know, maybe four strawberries, four, like maybe five. That is like, you know, like, come on, what do you think? Some people say, oh, look at all that fruit. It's like a fruitarian diet. Okay, the fruitarian diet is probably one of the, according to nutritionists, one of the most restrictive diets out there. Most people cannot last on it. It is really, really hard on your system. Fruitarian diet is really strictly a fruit diet and you're not having in all of the other nutrients and all of like grains and, and proteins and all of the things that, that make us have a moderation, a diet of moderation. Of course, the most famous person on the Criterion diet was Steve Jobs. And famously, you might also know that when Ashton Kutcher was preparing to take the role on in, in, the, in the Apple movie, he tried the Criterion diet and ended up in the hospital with a serious pancreatic 
reaction to all of that, to all of that sugar. If it works for you, then that's okay, but it really doesn't work for a lot of people. So let's move on to the watermelon. And you know what? Just approaching summer here, we all love watermelon and it is delicious. Now watermelon may not be quite as good and as dense as some of the other melons. Personally, I don't know why, but I don't even like other melons. Uh, watermelon, I do really like. You can be a little bit careful because you can just chow that back quite easily. But still, this is a good sized portion. This is 330 grams of watermelon and that is only 100 calories, okay? The fiber is not up in the category of these other two uh, great ones right here, but there still is fiber and it's full of water, hence watermelon. How do you pick a watermelon? I go to the store and I'm telling you, there's all kinds of things going on in that store. So people are tapping those watermelons, they're lifting them, they're weighing them, they're rubbing them. How do you tell a good watermelon or not? I just sort of pick the one that sort of looks shiny and it's basically hit or miss. So I don't know if there's really any science to it or if it is really just the luck of the draw, but if you do know how to pick a watermelon, comment down below, let me know. I would love to know. In Will's recent video where he talks about the diet of the people in Okinawa, where there are more people over 100 than anywhere else, typically they don't diet, but when they do diet, they have fruit. Apparently fruit is a valid snack. To me that is, you know, when that's a moment of desperation, your back is against the wall and you have access to no other calories but fruit. Raspberries are 52 calories per 100 grams. So this is a 170 gram container. So this whole container is only 88 calories. Who can eat this whole container? Blueberries are certainly touted as one of the best antioxidants. Uh, blueberries, these are 57 calories. So just slightly, slightly more than the raspberries. So uh, 57 calories per 100 grams, this 170 gram container, 97 calories, 16.9 grams of sugar and 4.1 grams of fiber. So not as good as the blackberries, but again, do you know what? I could eat more blueberries than blackberries. I don't know, what do you guys think? Pineapple, so this is 100 calories. Now, the sugar is much higher. These tropical fruits just tend to have more sugar. But again, you know what? This 100 calories, if this is 200 grams, this is 100 calories. Um, 19.7 grams of sugar and still 2.8 grams of fiber. And that's quite a lot of um, pineapple. Now I'll often put pineapple in a stir fry, for example, it gives it a nice, you know, add a little bit of flavor, but certainly in a serving that I would serve up, there isn't gonna be that much pineapple, maybe four or five chunks. Grapes. Interesting thing about grapes, I remember seeing a diet where they said, you could have 10 grapes. And I thought, wow, you really have to count them? When I looked into it, you know, grapes are just really like little sugar packs. They are really quite high in sugar. This 100 calories has 21.7 grams of sugar and only 0.9 grams of fiber. Even the worst fruit is better than a lot of other things that you might eat, like chocolate chip cookies. The pear is 58 calories per 100 grams. So this particular pear is over 200 grams, but don't forget that there's still a core and everything in here. And there is 3.1 grams of fiber, so that's good. Try to keep the skin on, eat the skin, that's good. You know, that helps you again with, with the digestion and everything. And uh, 9.8 grams of sugar. So right now, I'm at the point where I'm thinking, you know what? I'm not even coming close. What are these people talking about? Thinking I'm gonna blow up my liver and go crazy with all this sugar. I'm like not even, like, I am like the moderation queen over here. Love apples. I, this is really nice. I really like to have a snack of these uh, when I go to work. I just, they're so portable. They're, it's a nice crunch. It's a late afternoon kind of thing. And, um, a little, a little bit higher in the sugar, but this is like this one is about 100 calories. There's 52 calories per 100 grams. This is a 200 gram apple, which is, is a pretty big one. Um, and so this is around 20 grams of sugar, but almost five grams of fiber. There is somebody in the fitness world, Jeff Nippert, who just loves kiwis. Kiwis are his thing. That's his superfood. 
Um, kiwis are about 60 calories, 61 calories per 100 grams. This is pretty big kiwi, but generally speaking around 61 uh, calories per kiwi. Um, kiwi has some interesting properties. It's apparently known to help improve your sleep. So I don't know about that, but interesting. It's also very high, 112% of your daily vitamin C. And it also has vitamin K and vitamin E as well. Now, something that I didn't know is that you can actually eat the skin on the kiwi. And I don't know if any of you have tried that, but I haven't tried it before, but I'm gonna try it today. So it says just wash it. So I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. So here we go. Actually, I wouldn't have thought that. Sort of thought it was gonna be like kissing a guy with a beard. Hmm. A lot more of the fiber in the, in the skin. You know what? That's really good. That is really good. Yeah? What? Who knew? I know. Who knew? Like bananas, they're known also for their potassium. So they're good uh, post-workout. The banana takes a lot of hate. Even though we all buy bananas, probably the most purchased item. I think I, everybody in the world probably knows that it's 411 if you're doing a self-checkout. But the banana is known for potassium. It's also known to be high in sugar. And people often say, stay away from the bananas. So I'm just gonna put this banana on the scale and let's just see how, this is kind of a medium sized banana. You know what, I hate bananas. As soon as they turn all yellow, I'm like oh, out of there. I like them on the green side. 87 uh, grams. So it's 89 calories per 100 grams. So we're gonna say that it's gonna be pretty close to 100 calories, 12.23 grams of sugar and 2.6 grams of fiber. So it has, and it has some potassium, but you know what, it's not gonna knock your socks off with the potassium. Although it is higher than the kiwi. There's two things to be careful of. One, it's not the same to drink fruit juice. It's not helping you. You are missing out on the fiber. And that is really something that you do not wanna miss out on. The other thing to watch out for is dried fruit. It can really sneak up on you. That sugar, crazy. For example, dates, 100 grams is 277 calories. In 100 grams, 66, almost 0.5 grams of sugar. That is crazy. So really, really watch those. I know that they are delicious, but you know, that is something to really, really watch. So I made these, I actually just made up this recipe um, today. And I had some quinoa, which I'm making for a salad. So I'll put it all in the description. This is really great, like a breakfast cookie. It's not sweet. This is nice with yogurt, because you know, I think everything is really great with yogurt. Mostly just berries, and there's a mashed banana in there. And it just came together like nothing, but it's really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. Just to wrap it all up, this is 24 grams of sugar. People could put this in their coffee like, Easy, easy. I have all of these fruits and I have them actually in order for their sugar content along the way. And nothing is gonna come close. Your, it self-regulates, it does really not let you overeat. And fruit is a wonderful part of your diet. So eat fruit, let the haters hate, enjoy your fruit, make it part of your life, and we'll see you in the next